Oh, welcome to another Nonsense Wars table scrap. Uh, today we have uh, tension lock couplers with an automatic decoupling system using no custom parts. So let's go over what that is. Tension lock coupling just means that this hook, um, you see these on British model railroads, like toy trains, where this hook fits into a loop and then grabs it. So I'm gonna do that. And that hook catches the loop and when I pull, train comes nicely. When I push, this happens, but they won't separate. So I'll go that way, come back. Uh, and so the way the automatic decoupler works is if you stop in the right spot, it pushes the hook up a little further and it can escape. So all you have to do is stop your train over that. You can see I can't pick up the train over that spot, but if I push past and pull over, the tension in the system keeps the coupling from coming apart, uh, hence tension lock. So if you're trying to make like a small shunting layout, maybe you could use something like this. Uh, to make uh, a decoupling system that you don't have to touch. Um, this is just a hook with a very specific shape, nothing else to it that presses into the old coupler. You could come up with a better system maybe than what I have here. And this side, it's just a Technic quarter thing held in by a pneumatic T-piece. The decoupler itself um, is actually just, that's it. It's just a plate with some cheese wedges on top and a rounded bottom. And then this seesaw provides some counterweight so that it'll push up against the hook, the bottom of the hook here like that and the hook will uncouple but it won't it won't derail your train going over it because it'll just get pushed out of the way um, this height incidentally like two bricks uh, if you did elevated track with the uh, MILS system this is exactly the right height so if you landscape and ballast your track it'll blend right in one thing I encountered was this doesn't so this hook is pretty tight and won't actually go around curves Right, uh, so things you can experiment with are, here's a version of the hook that pivots a little, so that doesn't couple as reliably on a straight section because if it's tilted off to the side, it might not catch the hook on the first try, but usually repeated jamming into the next train car will do it. Um, the other thing you'll encounter is that the hook has to be the part uncoupling. So if I like have it coupled like this and I try to uncouple with a loop, it doesn't necessarily work reliably. Um, other thing you can do about going around curves is if you have a straight hook, you could just make the catching end a lot wider than the other one. So like that, um, put that on there, and this basically works in the exact same way. So. There, that'll decouple. But you imagine if you were going around curves, there's a lot more slop here because of the huge shape of this catcher. Um, again, those are just sort of pressed in like that, and it's not that sturdy. Um, if you take it and play with it, uh, let us know if you come up with anything better. Uh, hopefully, some of you find this useful for any switching layouts you might make.